Legacy Rawhide Prince, also known as Snickers at our barn. He's a 12-year-old Missouri Foxtrotter gilding that I bought for my granddaughter. And she's had some fun playing with him and riding him on trails. She's also put the fundamentals onto him from Clinton Anderson. He does really good with that. Here she is riding him on the road. He's traffic safe. Overall, he's just got a really nice personality. Very calm, cool, and collected. Uh, he started out being for her and then as we found out how good he is with people in general he became the barn guest horse so it doesn't matter if it's a female or a male um, pretty much whatever their skill level is he's willing to take them for a ride and take care of them rides with a nice loose rein he's got a beautiful mane and tail and confirmationally, he's great. You can see in the front here, here's uh, a group of girlfriends that she had out at the barn. So the girl that's sitting on him right now doesn't know anything about riding. So he stands nice and quiet. And then she asked that one of her friends actually walk her around. She said she'd feel more safe, so. Trail riding this horse has a really good head. He is not herd bound whatsoever, which means he'll ride the speed that the rider wants him to ride, and he doesn't fight to get up behind the next horse in front of him. He's great going through water and up and down hills, very sure-footed. Here's a friend of mine who's got a pretty nice obstacle course. So we went over there and are putting him through that obstacle course. This next obstacle was quite challenging. Not only is it uh, a tarp that's been sliced and cut with big fat pieces, but I'll show you another clip where inside that actually they're hanging like dolls and items that they have to go through. He has a nice little trail gate. We have cantered him some, however, you can tell that in his previous training that someone was pretty uh, dedicated to being uh, in gait and not breaking to the canter. So it's kind of up to whatever you'd want to do with him.
Here's that clip I was telling you about what's actually inside of this. When you get about to the middle, you'll see all these hanging things. And I know a lot of people like to see, well, what's the horse like when you get to the stall, open the gate, and how easy to put a halter on, lead, how easy to brush and tack up. So this next seven, eight minutes is gonna be that process of tacking him up, riding him a short time in the indoor arena here. Ties real nice. Never had any problems with him standing to tie. Height-wise, this horse is just shy of about 14.3 hands. And I kind of get up close here to see the tail on this horse is thick and long. It drags the ground. The mane is actually thick enough that you could split it down the middle and have a mane on both sides if you wanted. Though we don't show this in the video, he does pick his feet up fine, allows you to pick them. Barn animals don't bother, bother him. We got a cat coming in. And we'll have a dog running up to his back end here shortly. We'll actually ride with our dogs sometimes. I have a German Shepherd and a Jack Russell, and those dogs don't bother him. I've also done other trail rides where one of the riders brought a miniature donkey, and he rode the whole trail ride with us without any halter, just free. And so he'd be in the front and in the back and all around passing. And didn't bother Snickers at all.
He also takes the bit real nice. No problems with that. And he's real patient if you have to adjust the bridle for any reason. neck reins or plow reins, whatever you prefer. Snicks had actually never seen this ball before. This is the first time we tried this. Kind of takes a look and says, was that thing really on my back? This is a good little clip, kind of shows his nice trail gait. Nice loose rein. This horse is actually perfect for um, a kid who's probably ridden some. I don't know if I would put a brand new beginner on this horse on a regular basis, but um, definitely good for someone who's had, you know, a few rides. So I would say, you know, um, or we do put guests on him, um, but then we ride him in between. So I think he stays uh, pretty tuned from that. Um, but he's just a great all around horse. This part of the video right here, I'm real big on, I don't like to grab my horses by the halter clip they have to know how to back off of my shoulder. He got a little sticky right here, but then he was like, oh yeah, I remember that. So nice, nice loose lead, walking, knows that if I back up or move, he needs to move off that shoulder. And then I put him in a quick lunge both directions just to show you that he in fact um, yields his hindquarters and has had some lunging for respect. Um, this is a really tight circle, so obviously he's trotting, but that's just because of how tight the circle is. And there you have it, Legacy's Rawhide Prince, also known as Snickers.